from Amsterdam, my name is Ivana and today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. Usually I make travel vlogs but the curly girl hair routine has been requested for almost a year now so I thought well I'm not doing any vlogs this week so perfect timing to do a curly girl hair routine. Guys I will see you next time, bye! <laughs> First of all this is my natural hair. I haven't done anything with it except wash it and put some products in it for curly hair blow dry it and that's it. This is my natural hair. So if you have super straight hair, I'm not sure, well actually I know for sure my hair routine will not give you these curls. But if you do have curly hair, this is how I take care of my curls. My good hair day always starts with something you wouldn't necessarily think about, but it's a good haircut. After years and years of searching for a good hairdresser for my curls, they always cut my hair too short. I finally found a good hairdresser, my friend Ross, so she cuts my hair in one length. That's right, no more layers for me because it makes my hair a lot fuller. When I have layers, my hair gets so thin at the bottom, it just doesn't look good. Now I know they say layers will make your curls like curl more, but for me it just makes my hair a lot thinner and now having it at one length, it makes my hair so much fuller and I only have a little bit layers in the front to give my face some definition. Next to a good haircut, taking care of my curls when I wash them is also very important for how my curls are going to end up when they are dry. About one year ago when I decided that I really really wanted my curls to work out, I completely changed my hair washing routine. So first I put in some oil, it doesn't matter what kind of oil. So I'm using olive oil here, but you can also use coconut oil or almond oil, whatever you want. I leave the oil for like 30 minutes and in the meantime I wash my face and you know shave my legs, la la la, whatever you do when you're taking a shower. The next step is to wash my hair with a mild shampoo, so absolutely no SLS or SLES. Curly hair is already very dry by nature, so you don't want to use anything else that makes your hair even more dry. In contrast to that, I do have a bad habit of washing my hair at least three times, but as a final step I put in conditioner and only rinse half of it. When I'm done washing my hair I will never again in my life use a regular towel because it absorbs just too much moisture from your hair and makes your curls dry and again with dry hair we don't want to make it any drier. I use a regular cotton t-shirt as a towel nowadays so I will just bend forward put all my hair down and wrap it. Wrap it? Come on girl we can do this. Yes wrap it okay fast forward there we go all wrapped up now i will also not let my hair dry like this because otherwise if you leave the t-shirt on too long it will still absorb too much moisture for your hair so i just use it to make my hair a little bit more like towel dry but not with a towel. Also, I prefer to let my hair air dry because you know, blow drying your hair will also make it more dry. But for the purposes of this video, I will be using this blow dryer with a diffuser. Yes, that's that thing that I'm holding up for you to see. Bend over to the front and notice how I'm just pushing the curls into my scalp. I'm not rotating the diffuser. I'm not moving it around. I just, you know, put the curls on the diffuser and like this, and then push them into my scalp. That's it. Okay, so my hair is dry now, but you will notice that it's still quite dry and fluffy and the curls are not yet very well defined. This is where we make magic happen with the right product. This mousse of Reference of Sweden, so Ref.346, if I'm reading that correctly, has changed the life of my curls. This stuff is magic. It is the best product I have ever used for my curls. So this is what I do. I just divide my hair into sections. So I section the top off with like a big hair clip like these. And then I section the bottom of my hair and put in like, I don't know, it's like a tennis ball of mousse on my hand. I divide the mousse over both of my hands and then put it in my hair. It actually makes my hair wet again, but it's not wet as in like when you wash your hair, it's more like sticky from the mousse and everything and it will also dry quite fast. This is a volume mousse and it was the perfect solution for my one length cut hair because you know sometimes when your hair, your curly hair is cut in one length, only the bottom will curl and not the top and this mousse makes my hair also curl at the top and also it gives me volume at the top. It is 
so amazing like truly magic in a bottle of course when i'm finished moosing up the bottom of my hair i will also mousse up the top of my hair so again uh, like a tennis ball sized dollop of mousse and then in the top layers of my hair now if you let your hair dry like this it will give you a nice defined curl with quite some volume but for even more volume and for even prettier curls i blow dry my hair this will really activate the product and i will show you in a minute how you can make your curls last for a week without having to wash it again when i'm finished blow drying my hair i will literally just mess it up again like completely because i like my curls to look natural and not like really really tight curls or anything so this is what i do and then my curls turn out like this so lots of volume still some defined curls and definitely a lot less frizz than we saw before right i do have to say i'm not a fan of my hair on the first day of washing because i still feel it's too fluffy and still a little bit too frizzy but it will get better during the week oh by the way because i like massive volume i put it in a side part and it looks so much more voluminous than with just the middle part i only wash my hair once a week so at one point i will have to go to bed and ruin my curls but this is what i do to keep them as well as good as possible until the next day so if you are a curly girl just like me you probably know the struggle of going to bed with perfectly defined voluminous curls and waking up with flat half curls the next day you recognize that yep put the thumbs up baby put the thumbs up on this video <laughs> give me a high five a virtual high five so this is my solution to keep the curls fresh and voluminous for the next day i use this kind of hair tie you know it's cable shape and i feel like because it's the shape of your curls it doesn't make them as flat as a normal hair tie would i pull up the hair on the top of my head in a ponytail it is quite a known method the, the pineapple method to make a loose ponytail on the top of your head but i do it differently so i just pull the hair tie until the ends of my curls and then fold them double so it turns out like a marge simpson hairdo like this and then i go to sleep the benefit of this is that my curls are still loosely wrapped and because the bun is on the top of my head i won't lose the volume when i wake up the next day this is what i do to get them back in shape so this is what my hair will look like after a night of sleep of course it's not as pretty as <laughs> when i went to sleep but as you will notice my curls are still quite defined and there is still a lot of volume now to activate the product again i will completely wet my hair well actually no no i will not wet it completely you definitely don't want to just step under the shower and make your hair completely wet because it will just rinse out the product you just want to reactivate it again so i will make it wet but not like soaking wet this is what it looks like after so you see it's not soaking wet but it still is quite wet this is also a product from the same brand reference of sweden and this is the product ref.244 it's a little bit like a cream and i only use it on the parts of my hair or only when i think parts of my hair are still quite dry or frizzy so definitely not all through my hair in order to activate all the products again i will use the blow dryer with the diffuser and blow dry my hair completely dry this maybe takes me like five minutes or something it's a really fast way to make my curls defined again and add lots of volume that i lost through the night now again i will mess up my hair completely <laughs> to make the curls less defined you know there's a balance there's got to be a balance between the fluff and the definition of the curls this is day six by the way you see how much more defined the curls are than on day one this is exactly how i like my hair but still, it gets oily and I need to wash it. And I washed it actually the day after this. And that's it. That's how I take care of my curls. And that's how I get this hairdo. This is day one, by the way, which is not the best day, but still. I am very, very happy with this routine. It took me years to figure out how to take care of my curls. So I really hope it was helpful for you too. If it was, please put a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button to travel along with me when I go to Hamburg, because that's the next destination. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.